Hey YouTube, it's Audrey, and I'm back with week number four of the Metal Bead Fiber collaboration with Poet Spice here on YouTube. And with this collaboration, we were to use um, different elements of beads, large beads, seeds, beads, any kind of beads, anything made with metal or out of metal, and anything made with fibers. That would be like ribbon, fabric, um, lace, all those types of things. So, um, this week I used some ribbon and then I also used another ribbon that I will show you in a minute with the project because it was the last piece that I have. I have this Alto 810 that I packed one time for a crop of some sort and um, it's filled with just beads, bead caps, that kind of thing. So, it was sitting on the shelf and I looked at it and said, okay, this week I'm going to use... Um, what's in there to make a project so I did that and then with all the journaling and things um, people are doing I thought okay I could use these ribbon ends to make um, bookmarks and they come in three different sizes a small medium and a large and this is something I guess that was really popular a few years back and um, I decided to use some because I had made some a couple years ago and was looking for certain ones and had bought a lot of different ones and then realized I never took them back. So I have quite a few of these. So um, I have those and just to show you they do come in other colors like this one is um, um, oxidized brass. You could get them in gold also. Um, they come from Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Walmart even has them. So what I have done is I have made some bookmarks with charms on the end. This is the first one and this one is a skinny one. These are quick and easy to do because you get ribbon and you cut the ribbon to the length that you want. You take an end cap like this or a ribbon um, end you slide the ribbon in there and you just snap it closed or bend it closed um, with like a clamp or a plier. And then what I've done is I've made beads. All of these are separate. There are four different beads. There's this elongated one. There's the angel wings. Then there is the iridescent um, bicone bead there. And then a silver topper for like the hat or a halo. And I put those together with a hairpin. And then I wrapped it into a loop. And then I used a ring to attach it to the end. Because the end of these have little loops. Um, the ideal thing about this, these make quick and easy gifts. For people who journal, who read, and who even in planners, they can use as placeholders or bookmarks. So those are the two ends, the two charms that I made for those. And then I made one using lace ribbon, and like I said, you can use um, any type of um, ribbon, lace, or trim that you want. This is a wider one. I used the wider end caps and then I made this bead um, grouping with a head pin. I just picked out a couple beads, a couple silver um, bead caps. This one is in the middle, hard to see, but it is a rhinestone rondelle. Let's see if I could get it to focus for you a little closer. There, you can see the rhinestones a little bit better. And then just a little um, clear bead at the top. Again, I made my little loop. I put it on a ring and then looped it through the end. So, these make quick and easy gifts. And even if you um, don't want to make your charms you could just get charms like these at michael's and dangle them off the ends um 
Now here's another example of the words. Um, speak or sparkle like a star. Never give up. Um, play with soul. That kind of stuff. So you don't have to make bead ends. You can buy charms to hang off. But they have a quick and easy gifts to give to um, friends um, in exchanges and in racks and things like that. Great for books, bookmarks, planners, or whatever. So, I will have the um, list of ladies and their links to their channels below who are in the collaboration. And I look forward to seeing you for week number five. We go through August 11th, posting on Fridays by 5 Eastern every week. And I would just say you might want to leave a comment because you never know what might happen when you leave a comment. So thank you so much for watching and you have a great and very blessed day. Bye-bye.